what really goes on in the mind of a DJ during a show. I'm gonna guide you through that by a story. Let's get into the vlog. Hey, what's up? This is Laidback Luke, a DJ and producer. Last week I came across this brilliantly written piece by DJ Simon Shackleton, who's been DJing about as long as I have. And he had written down the psyche of a DJ on tour during a show so well that I decided to make a vlog about it so that you realize what exactly is going on inside a DJ's brain on tour or even during a show. So let me read this up to you because I don't want to butcher anything. It's a brilliant piece and I'll take you in right now. Okay, here we go. Shadow Life. There's a great segment of the recent Last Party on Earth, which is Tiga's podcast, where Jeff Mills is talking about the nature of the DJ life, where he describes it as a shadow life. And Simon writes, this resonates hard with me and my personal experience of life on the road over the past 25 years. It's such a peculiar life in many ways, a life of almost complete solitude, and yet the perception couldn't be more different. You live in the shadows as a single traveler, squirreled away in the corners of restaurants, airports, hotel bars, surrounded by groups of people who are there for their pleasure. You become fiercely streamlined, micromanaging your closely guarded time. You develop routines like nervous tics. You become a well-oiled machine, a travel ninja. And for every hour behind the decks, you're in a lonely transit for 23. Okay, let me respond to this. Travel ninja. I resonate with that. It is as if an airplane is my living room and I often wonder what all these people are doing in my living room. I have my certain routines in the airplane. I take my shoes off, I use them as cup holders. I have a specific spot in the airplane where I wanna sit uh, at the window section. This is then because I can get my long sleep, putting my pillow up to the window and just pass out like that. But also living the life in solitude, the lonely traveler part where you're in your own, in the shadows, at the bar or in hotel lobbies. Whereas other people who are usually in the plane are going on a vacation, you are there for business. And I often say I get paid to travel, but DJing I do for fun. Okay, so next Simon Shackleton is going to talk about what happens when you get to the club. So who is DJ Simon Shackleton? The, the guy, the DJ who wrote this. Simon Shackleton is a breakbeat house electro DJ, but his roots are mainly breakbeat. He's had a lot of success. He, he's made music for The Matrix, the movie, Arlington Road, Charlie's Angels, according to Wikipedia. Here's the next part. The club's always a hideous shock to the system. You spend the past couple of hours attempting to disco nap, but your conscious mind is being on overdrive, racing through a thousand scenarios for the night ahead, mentally preparing for every eventuality. You're sleep deprived, on edge, and when you arrive, people are loose, loud, and in your face. The sound and light deafens and blinds in equal measure. Total sensory overload. I always try to minimize contact with people before I play as it disrupts the hyperfocus. What resonated with me here is that the mind is in overdrive. So whenever I travel out to a show, I am always thinking about combos of tracks to play or which track to play, or if the club is looking like a VIP club, which genres I should uh, grab my track selection out of. What kind of a crowd will I encounter tonight? And shoot, I have deadlines as well. I better get to those in the hotel room. But then going from business mode into club mode, people are out, people are drunk, the music is blasting, the lights are flashing, and people are in your face because, wow, it's so awesome you're here. We wanna talk to you and everything. I, I felt that for sure. The next part is really good. Behind the decks he's gonna describe. If this is currently opening your eyes or doing something for you, make sure to hit me with a like and a subscribe right now because I love diving into this type of stuff as we dive back. Behind the decks, everything quietens. Church is in session. At its best, DJing is pure flow state for me. A meditation where I can express and communicate emotion through sound, where I can connect all the little pieces in that space and bring them into life as a unified organism. That's when it's at its best, but it's rarely at its best. That state of flow 
And I guess this is why the hours fly by when you DJ. I often get off the decks thinking, wow, that felt like 15 minutes or half an hour while I played in an hour and a half or two hours. But it's definitely an unleashing of all the travel and, and the things you need to go through before you hit the decks. The state of flow is also nice because it releases your anxiety where it's like you know what to play, you know what the crowd wants, you'll, you see your hands moving and doing tricks and everything is working out most of the time for the hour or two you're in the club and behind the decks you're the center of people's attention but it never feels like that to me i feel like i'm part of a production team that's hard at work creating moments for the paying customers to enjoy the whole reason i'm there is to entertain perform and create a wave of energy that people will be riding on long after they call time on the event and I too I often feel like part of the production team where in a club and in a club setting all of us are doing that we are presenting that towards the crowd giving them the night they have paid for and then the part that's coming up next describes how it feels to get off of the decks the second I finish my set though I want to be gone I want to scurry back to the sanctity of silence as soon as possible to reset my ears my eyes my head. I want to process the experience, to think about the set, to troubleshoot it, to ask how each mix worked, to analyze how those new tracks worked out. I, I felt this, I felt this. Sometimes you make a couple of mistakes during your sets and, and you're like, how could this happen? Or was that combo good enough? What did I play again? Sometimes you even forget what you played. And also, oh, I remember so-and-so in the crowd dancing to it. I had nice interaction with that person on the dance floor maybe one of you that are watching is an expert in mental health and do leave something in the comments if you are maybe all this has to do with the brain trying to process what it's been going through all the impressions being made and just like putting everything in a in a proper spot inside your head right i personally love 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 silence and being sort of a recluse right after my show so let's dive back and see what simon says about that as simon continues I want to reside back to the dark corners of the shadow life with the cortisol that my body's surfing on. I'm already thinking about the morning flight where I left my car at the airport, the promoter who's drunk too much and is supposed to be picking me up at 7 a.m., whether I can grab breakfast at the hotel before I leave. I'm mentally counting the sleep I'm likely to get in minutes rather than hours and most likely I'm already thinking about the following night, the next show. A life of solitude, a shadow life. What are you thinking about what he, he's written? What are you thinking about this vlog? Make sure to leave it down in the comments. I am curious to see if this is bringing you some insights as well. On to the next show and the next and the next and the next. As sometimes summer tours were like that, but I also like naming it shadow life for the pure purpose of distinguishing the glamorous DJ life and then the part that no one really talks about. Not complaining, not complaining, but this is an absolute accurate observation or essay on how all of this actually feels. And I do feel it's important to keep on talking about how these things feel. Check out the vlog I made about what they don't tell you about becoming famous and how to deal with that. And this can seriously affect your mental health and I made a vlog about that too on how to put things back in perspective. Reading from this mental health book, it'll give you some wisdom and knowledge. Big shout out to DJ Simon Shackleton for writing this piece and providing us with such an eloquently written piece about how I feel exactly on tour and probably a lot of DJs with me. Don't forget to hit me with a like and subscribe as well and I'll catch you back here for the next vlog. Until then, L's up.